friends, welcome once again to Faith Walk 101. We are so glad that you could join us. So right now, it just seems like the world is full of rage and anger. And we're seeing it all over the place. Just violence and crime. And uh, there seems to be no reason for it. And so what we've done is uh, we want to point to a certain group. Uh, we're looking at... Uh, trying to find a reason why so many people are, are angry. Uh, some say it's the pandemic, food costs, shortages, inflation, rent, homelessness. The list goes on and on. Not enough toilet paper, right? <laughs> people just want to be angry about something. But we want to look at what's the root cause of all of this. Because until you deal with the root of the problem, all, the, all we're dealing with are the symptoms and uh, but we want to get to the root so I'm going to give you the short answer we're going to go right to the scriptures and um, we're going to look for Bible answers to these worldly problems and so right off the bat the problem is because of the fall of man every part of God's creation is subject to the curse that's Romans 8 20 and 21 so that's really the short answer. This world, this earth is under a curse. And uh, because of this curse, all of creation, all, everything is groaning. And we see that earthquakes, fires, uh, all of the, the earth is just groaning. It's groaning, it's longing to be back the way it was from the original, the, the original plan that God had. The entire universe is being held under a curse. Now, uh, most people don't want to believe that, and we believe that man can fix this, but man cannot fix this. So we as Christians, we are eagerly longing that that day of a new heaven and a new earth. We're longing for that. Well, we should be. When this curse is going to be removed, and this can only happen when Jesus Christ comes back to this earth, sets foot on this earth, and he rules. He is the only righteous king that can rule on this earth and take away the curse itself. Man cannot fix this. But what is behind this anger and rage that is taking place today? So let's build on this foundation from the Word of God to answer this question about the problems today. Paul writes in um, Colossians 1, 9, he says uh, that they... He said that he and uh, those with him was praying uh, to God that they would be filled with the knowledge of his will. So first of all, we need to know what, what is the will of God. And uh, a lot of things that's taking place in our world today is not in line with the, word, with the will of God. And so he says, I want you to come to this uh, understanding, to have this knowledge of what the will of God is. And he says, through all wisdom and understanding uh, that the Spirit gives. And so these things uh, about what's happening in our world today uh, has to be revealed to us by the Spirit. So there is a spiritual war that's taking place, and we need to understand what's happening in this spiritual war. In uh, 1 Corinthians 2.14, uh, Paul writes, the natural person. The average person that does not have Christ inside of them, does not have the Holy Spirit inside of them, does not accept what I'm saying. Doesn't accept the things of the Spirit of God. They just don't believe it. And so they're determined to try to fix uh, this thing through man-made solutions and programs. Uh, in fact, the natural man, the person who has not accepted Christ, who does not have the Holy Spirit, he thinks that all of these things that God is saying is foolishness. It's foolishness to them. Uh, but the, this earth is under a curse. Uh, and uh, the natural man he can't understand these things uh, because they are spiritually discerned. So remember what Paul, he says, I'm praying that y'all will come to the knowledge and the understanding of what the Spirit gives. Because the things that's happening in, in our world today can only be spiritually discerned. Only. The natural man, the man of this world, he thinks what the church is saying is foolishness. And he rejects it. And uh, 
for we know that we are longing for a new heaven and a new earth. So that's why Paul is praying uh, that God would give them this spiritual understanding. And that's what we need because we're trying to, man's trying to figure out what's behind all this anger. Man is angry. Listen to this. Man is angry because he's lost. <laughs> uh, and he's lost and he doesn't know it. And so he's acting out. Uh, he's groaning. He wants this peace that we as Christians have. Once the Holy Spirit has been placed inside of us, we have a peace that passes all understanding. The man who does not accept Christ, he doesn't have that peace. His life is groaning. He's longing for that, and he's trying to find it, and he's acting out. And it's really unfortunate. Uh, so man is angry because he's lost. Because he thinks what we're saying is foolishness. He rejects it. The only one, the only one, the only one that can understand this is uh, is the believer, and it's always through the Holy Spirit. He needs to hear the word of God. The unbeliever needs to hear the word of God. You want to fix a, uh, you want to be a part of uh, fixing uh, this world then we have to give the world the gospel. Uh, it will never be fixed until Jesus actually comes and sets foot on this earth. So what God wants us to do is to, for the man to hear about the hope that we have, the good news, and that is he can have eternal life through Jesus Christ. That is the only way that he's going to be saved. Uh, so the only way anyone can understand this is through the Holy Spirit. The world needs to hear the word of God, period. They need to hear the word of God. So how are they going to hear it? It has to be through us. There is no man-made program or law that can fix this world. None. Absolutely none. If it was, then we wouldn't need Jesus. He's coming back and he's going to rule. He's going to put down all this evilness. God is the creator of the visible and the invisible. See that in Colossians 1.16. So why is that important? Because nothing that we see, everything that we see in the visible, starts in the invisible. And it's manifest in the visible. So we who are led by the Spirit, who uh, discern things through the Spirit, who are able to understand this. But people who are not, then they're depending on the visible. They're trying to fix things in the visible. But everything starts in the invisible. So what is in the invisible <laughs> that is influencing the visible in this world? So that's the question. There's something in the invisible that is influencing the visible. And uh, that's something that we really don't like to think about. But in Colossians 1.16, it says there are thrones and powers, rulers, or authorities. And these are the order of good and uh, good and bad. Uh, angels that's taking place in the invisible. So these things are taking place in the invisible and they are influencing people. They're influencing people in power. And so what the world needs to hear is the word of God. They need to find hope in Christ. So uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 10 4 says, What we use is the word of God. So it says, Even though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. The weapons that we use are mighty to uh, pull down strongholds, and that is the Word of God. So we have the Word of God to stand on against the things that's coming against us in this world, and the world needs to hear the Word of God. So Ephesians 6.12 says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But the problem is, that's what we're doing. We're fighting against one another. So we as believers, we know that the scriptures is how we uh, measure everything. That's how we measure reality is through the scriptures. And Paul says, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. But that is really the big problem in our world today. We're fighting against one another. But we as Christians, we know it's a spiritual war. And we can only discern it through the spirit. And the natural man rejects this. Uh, so um, people 
they don't understand what they're doing. They just don't understand it. Uh, but we battle against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. And so that is what's taking place in the world today. There is this spiritual wickedness, this darkness, this, uh, that's ruling and influencing people to do the things that they do. See, we don't wrestle against one another. Why is it that we don't wrestle against one another? It's because we are told to give each other the gospel. Uh, so we know that people are being influenced by the enemy. So it's not them. We want to love them. I don't care what group they're in. We want to love them and give them the scriptures, the word of God. And that's how we measure everything is, is in that. So we're not, we wrestle against principalities, powers, and rulers. And so the real problem is how can anyone ever know the gospel without hearing it? How can they ever know without hearing it? Uh, you, you, can't, you can't come up with a program that's going to fix this. I don't care how much money you pass out, how comfortable you make people feel. No matter what you give somebody, it's never, ever enough. We see this over and over in our world. I don't care how much money you pass out, how many programs you come up with, it's never enough. The heart is never satisfied unless it has Jesus Christ in it because that's what completes it. So the real problem is people need to hear the word of God. But are you willing, are you interested in taking the word to the world? Because most people are not. We want to sit back and complain about what's wrong with this world and why people are doing these things. People are under the influence. And we've heard that before. Uh, drunk drivers, we say they're under the influence. Someone who's on drugs, we say they're under the influence. And when they're under the influence, they don't behave like they should, do they? And that's what's happening in our world today. People are under the influence of the evil one. And they need to hear the word of God. They need the spirit of God deposited inside of them so that they can spiritually discern what's happening in our world. My well, friend, I hope this has been encouraging to you as we talk to this series of lessons about broken hearts because there are a lot of people that have broken hearts and that's why they're not functioning well. But we got to trust God, believe what he says, let God define what love is, uh, and uh, we're not going to be worried or have anxiety. We put all our cares on him. We love him, and uh, we're not going to be angry because we understand where this war is coming from. It's a spiritual war that's taking place all around us, my friend. And what we need are more soldiers on the battlefield. And a lot of times what we have is a lot of babes in Christ that all they want to do is be entertained. I hope this message has been encouraging to you. Continue to um, uh, drop us a comments, and uh, we're just so thankful that you are supporting our channel.